In today's world, some adolescent schoolgirls are still struggling to regularly put resources together to acquire the product to keep their dignity and safety every month for their cycle. From the Dodowa Presby Basic School in the Greater Accra region, GBC News' Clara Mlano shares the story of how living without this product, the sanitary pad is affecting the confidence and empowerment of the girl child's education. The plan is not to leave anyone behind in the country, education-wise. However, Rejoice and her two other colleagues already feel left out. For tete a tete with her peers, sharing how their parents are able to provide sanitary pads for use in their monthly period is silently dampening her confidence. In her case, she once had to use her school socks in an emergency situation as an alternative. My mom is working by the work is not that big or that heavy to take care of my sanitary pad every month. So it's either I use rag or tissue. Sometimes too, I use my sauce. When I come to school, I use my sauce for that. And it hurts me a lot. The first day I had my menstruation was in school. When I had it to school, I feel like my it was flowing very heavy. So I even changed, I removed all myself and I used the socks without any underwear. She couldn't hide her sorrow of how that affected her time in class. Yeah, I think last time I was in class with my friends and one soiled self. So she went to the bag and took sanitary pad. So I was just looking at her. I said, what is that she's holding? And she was like, hey, we'll see you across me, Papa. And I said, oh. so I left there because I have never experienced it before. So anytime they meet and they are talking about, even when I'm there and they are talking about those things, I try to stay away because I don't want them to say something that will hurt me or something like that. So I stay away from them when they are saying such things. For blessing, after being shamed for soiling her school uniform with blood by her peers, she has advised herself not to stand up to answer questions in class whenever she is on her time of the month. When I use the tissue, um, when lessons are going on, I feel some pains and then I even feel that um, the, I'm having heavy flu. So how to stand up and then answer a question in his class is very difficult for me. Coming from a family of eight with five siblings, Blessed sees the burden on her parents and wouldn't want to compound the already dire situation of her seamstress mother and electrician father whose job isn't too lucrative today. For that, she sometimes go hungry by saving her feeding and classes fee of three CDs a day until it accumulates the price of a sanitary pad of between 18 and 25 CDs to buy one for use. She once I, my mother bought a tissue, um, a pad, and I used the pad, one, it was one pack, I used the pad and then uh, I feel like it's good, it's okay. But it's reached a time that before I'll get a pad, I have to contribute my feeding fee. I have to put my feeding fee down for some days before I'll be able to buy some pad before I'll use. So at times it even makes me absent from school and then I'm, I'm embarrassed when especially talking to my friends in school. Gifty, who is aspiring to become a nurse's story, is no different. Her parents simply cannot afford the product. My mom don't have much money to buy pads so she said i should manage the clothes or the tea when i have my mistresses so when i grow or i reach 16 years or something she can get money to buy pad for me but now she doesn't have some her mom says the means to acquire sanitary pad for her daughter every now and then is a challenge uh, for inadequate access to menstrual hygiene information, products and toilets is termed period poverty. 
In the Menstrual Hygiene Week, with May 28 as Menstrual Hygiene Day, campaigners are drumming home the need to scrap the taxes on sanitary products in Ghana and promoting good menstrual hygiene management. Part the Girl Projects is an initiative of MYO Global with the aim of raising awareness on menstrual hygiene, improve access to supplies and break the misconception, especially in rural areas and among vulnerable people. The group has made a presentation to rejoice and about 200 of her peers at the Dodowa Presby Basic School with some sanitary products to empower and keep them constantly in school. <laughs> Almost every woman in her reproductive years experiences a monthly cycle and MYO Global has adopted the school to provide the girls with their products every month. With the 2023 day running on the theme, Making Menstruation a Normal Fact of Life by 2030, Rejoice and her peers are assured of a normal life when in their period, as long as the philanthropist keeps providing them with the sanitary pad. Clara Mlano, GBC News, Dodo.